Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Nice shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do you ever go to the fridge when you're hungry? You open the door, and then you look in there, and there's nothing, so you close the door. And then two minutes later, you go back there looking again. I think I can <laughs> find something this time. <laughs> or maybe in that two minutes, somebody put something new in there. No, That's it's the happen. same stuff. Yeah. Well, today on the show, hilarious things everyone is secretly guilty of doing, but they don't want to admit, Ronnie. That's on the next Men Are So Smart. And hello to you. My name is Sweet Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. It's really funny. Sometimes uh, when it comes to doing things that we almost had secretly guilty of doing, um, when, I f when I'm walking and, and I kind of stumble a little bit, I, I always pretend like it's, oh, my knee. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well be my knee, but it's not. Probably 10% of the I time it is. I just stumbled, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, on our list today, first up, mumbling the name part during a rendition of Happy Birthday. You know what I mean? Happy Birthday, dear. Happy Birthday to you. Been there, mumbled that. You're at a birthday party for a person you only kind of know. It's time to sing and belt out happy birthday to him, and you give it everything you got until you get to that part. So you mumble something incoherently, hoping your sudden change in volume isn't too obvious. Happy birthday. So there you go. Mumbling the name part of happy birthday. I had to laugh when I saw this one. I do this every single day. You lower the, the music in your car so you can see better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do that too, Ronnie. So, uh, we we went, I, I buy things off Marketplace or whatever, and or Craigslist, and the people give me their address, and right. I go there, and I'm looking for their address, and I'm on GPS. Right. Okay? And then when I get close, and I'm scanning for uh -huh. the... I turn off the music. Yeah, you got to. So I can see the address. Right, because you got to see the numbers. Can't and, see and the, the numbers. It's too loud. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how exactly is turning down the volume going to help us on this parallel park? I don't think it does. Uh, who knows? It's just one of the many funny things people do that doesn't come with a simple explanation. Uh, it's just, I don't know why. But I do this. I can be in the car with my wife, and the same thing happens. Yeah. I... And we both get really quiet when we're looking for something the last minute. It's, uh, it's very bizarre human nature. I, I don't know what it is. I guess it's an inability to multitask. I don't know. Have you ever done this? Honey, I can't find my phone. <coughs> have you seen my phone? I can't <laughs> find it. I might have left it in the house, but I'm not sure. Have you seen my phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in your freaking hand. I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that, that Hilarious one. things everyone is guilty of doing. Okay. You're sitting in your doctor's office. Uh -huh. There's a waiting room full of people. Right. And you're secretly diagnosing everybody that's in there <laughs> for what they have. As if you were the doctor. Let's see. There's a common cold. Ooh. Hepatitis. I bet he's probably got the flu. Oh, uh, <laughs> Ebola. Yeah, get the hell out of here, Ebola. Yeah, that happens. Eating a family-sized bag of chips by yourself. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> I am so guilty. I cannot eat a sandwich unless I have potato chips. Yeah. And if it's a big sandwich, good luck. There's going to be no chips left when I'm done. Do you ever put open up your sandwich and put chips oh, inside? Oh, of course I do, uh, yeah. Fritos are the best for that, I oh, think. Oh, you yeah. know what I like is those new ones. The chili cheese Fritos. Oh, boy, those are good, too. They're dangerous. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I was just telling you that I have eaten what's not meant to be a personal size uh, serving of ice cream. Oh, right. I've eaten a Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia uh -huh. all by myself in one sitting. I'm going to need your man card, Ronnie. Damn, but that's good. Yeah. Holy cow, it's good. Okay, this one we talked about a little bit. Ignoring an email for weeks, then writing back saying... 
Somehow this ended up in my spam folder. Oh, I just saw this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I would have responded earlier. Yeah, but it wasn't a good time. Yeah, it just didn't work out. Yeah. I've done that. Uh, I'm the president of a homeowner association, and I get emails sometimes that I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm just, I don't even want to deal with this right now. I'll work on it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and goes. Yeah. I'm like, Right, row. I, mean, I do have to deal with this. And then you just forget it. Right. You know, that yeah. happens too. And yep. then, then you're, then where are you? <laughs> Wielding a bear wrapping paper tube as a lightsaber. Who doesn't do that? How can you You can not? really bonk someone with over the head with one of those. Yes. And sometimes it's the person that most deserves it. Well, and we've done it many times during Christmas. Yeah, that's when, when there are most. numerous uh, wrapping paper tubes mm -hmm. and you can have sword fights. Yeah. Those are the best. Three-way sword fights, really. Yep. Uh, offering some truly transparent fake laughter. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't done that? I do it every day. I do it every single day. Probably once. I've probably done it three times while we were filming the show today already. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Uh, I've been on the computer all morning here, so I'm going to take a little break and go on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> do you do this? Not only have I done that, but I'll put my iPad down mm -hmm. and pick up my phone. <laughs> They're both capable of doing the exact same thing. I don't know why. I don't get it. I, I just need to read. I need to read it on a smaller screen. I think is the the biggest problem. Um, never done that. Never done that. Never done that. You've never done that. A lot I've of never stuff. done that. Oh, you know what? Now this one. Boy, I don't know if I want to out him. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna out him. Okay. Uh, you wake up to go to the bathroom, but when you really wake up, you're in your closet. <laughs> I did that once after a softball game and too much tequila. Yeah. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my son, when he was a, a, a child, he probably was three years old, and we went into his closet to get his clothes for daycare, and he had peed on the floor. And that's what he said happened. Is he he dreamed that he was going to the bathroom, but he was in the closet. Closet, bathroom, same thing. Eh, you know. No. He missed it by just the, a few steps. Ronnie, you go to the grocery store. Oh. And you get about eight bags worth of stuff. Right. You don't realize it until you see it in all eight bags. <sighs> right. You put it in your cart. You load it into the back of your car, you drive home, you open the trunk, you have to try to make it in one trip without... <laughs> if you got to hook one bag over each ear, and yeah, you got to do what I'm you got to do. Because you have to do it in one trip. There I are like six trips. of them on my arm up this way, <laughs> and then I try to get four or five more on this side. Oh, man. Okay. So this one, you know what? I'm going to let you do this one because... Okay. This is not really, this is not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> All right, Ronnie, if you insist. <laughs> Lying to your doctor when they ask you about your alcoholic consumption. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> just, hope, just on the weekends. I hope your doctor doesn't watch. Well, I didn't even thought of that. Yeah. My doctor's pretty cool. He might. He might be. Huh. Yeah. yeah, so. Problem. That's a problem. Uh, and how much do you drink, uh, Mr. Gallagher? Uh, just once in a, a couple on the weekend. Yeah, I'm a social drinker. Right. Yeah, not yeah. unless we're out. I really don't drink anymore. Or any less. Or any less. <laughs> <laughs> you should know. Okay, this one. I've done this a couple times. Oh, it's the worst feeling in the world. Oh. Accidentally sending a text to the person you're talking about. Yeah. Or even, just make it simpler, sending a text... To somebody who should not be receiving that text. Yeah. Uh, I've done it. Oh, my God. It is the absolute... There's a lot of backstepping after you do that. Oh, sorry. This wasn't meant for you. Uh, I have an example. Mm. Um, this person that I work with during the day, they and I send texts back and forth uh, to one another. And... Um, one day, something happened. I got really pissed uh, at someone else. So I was going to send 
what I was going to say to that person if I ever faced him. And to my friend, I sent that. And I said, you know, you always do this. Why do you always defend when... It, and I sent it to the, the wrong person. I sent it to the guy. ruh -roh. How that possibly could have come up on my screen and how I possibly could not have noticed it, I don't know. But man, you know what? Somehow I got my way out of it and I never thought about it again until right about now. You were also, you had like an email thing, didn't you? Uh, to do with your radio show or something? Oh. At one point? Yeah. That was super sketchy? Yeah. Um, don't want to go into that. <laughs> my yeah. attorney doesn't want me to. Ooh, dang. All right, now this one. <laughs> yeah. I love this one. Coming home from work, realizing the house is empty, and feeling immense relief. Yeah. You're like, yes. There's rarely ever a time at my house when Yes. Oh. Now, I can, I can deal with my dogs. That they don't count. No. My dogs, they come up, they bug me for a minute, they want to love on me. I'm okay with that. In fact, it actually adds to my day. But when there's people in the house, and as much as I love the people that live in my house, when they're gone and I'm by myself and I have the house to myself, there's just a feeling that you can't get any other way. Right. Right. I don't know what it is. Well, it does, like I said, it doesn't happen much in my house anymore, but there was a time when my wife's parents were still alive and she would go up to Oroville, which is about an hour north of, of Sacramento. And uh, she would stay the night there with the kids. She, you know, they'd see their grandparents for 24 hours or so. And I would be at home for work reasons or whatever. I'm in my underwear. I'm having pizza delivered. <laughs> I've got beer and me and the dog are going to be up on the bed eating pizza. <laughs> and that's the greatest thing. I yep. mean, if I could be single again, I would do that every night. Whew. Boy. Yep. Good stuff. All right. Do you ever go on... Oh, what is that? WebMD. MD. That's the one. Yes. Because you got a little sniffle. Right. And by the time that you're done, you got malaria. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. Well... Yep. Why do we keep making that same mistake time and time again? You know what a headache might be a symptom of? Having a headache. Yeah, you have a headache. <laughs> it's not a it's not a tumor. It's not. No. It's not. Okay. This one, we do this almost every time we go to the store. You buy a week's worth of fresh vegetables and fruit and you end up not eating all of it. Just telling you, I threw out two pears yesterday. Not four of them. There were two pairs. Oh, two pair? Yeah, two pairs. And inevitably, something gets rotten. We went to buy, actually, when we bought the pears, the guy in the uh, veg, in the department, what do you call it? Vegetables, the, produce. Yeah, the produce. In the produce department said, those pears, uh, you need to eat them within two days. He goes, they're, they're on the verge. We didn't. And he was right. He was absolutely right. So, yeah. Hey, buddy. Listen to this one, buddy. Okay, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling someone buddy because you forgot their name. <laughs> I think I do that every time, uh, every day, at least once or twice with either customers or the, the, the FedEx guy or whatever it might be. You swear he must have introduced himself to you at some point, but you'll be damned if you can remember his name. It's all a good Hey, big guy. If anybody ever calls you big guy, they yeah. don't know who you are. How about bro? Because that, I use bro. Somebody said to me the other day, bro ham and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. If I, if I don't know somebody's name, I mean, honestly, I call people buddy and bro. All the time anyway. Yeah. Just as a, hey, and even, a, even if I know their name. Right. All right. Uh, and so that's, but it, to me, it's more of a, a term of endearment. Okay, this one, you get into an elevator and you hit your button, whether it's your floor number or it's the lobby, and the doors don't close immediately, what do you do? Push the button again. You hit the button again. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. No. No, it doesn't close any faster. They do have one of them door closing buttons. They that, do. Yeah. Uh, sadly, it's not going to close the door any faster than, than the other buttons. But thanks for pushing. Right. Now, when I worked 
in our main jail. You get into the elevator. Oh, I know you're going to tell. There's no buttons. Oh. There's no buttons on there because inmates ride these elevators. Uh -huh. We don't want them having access to what floor they get off on. Right. So they get in, and we've already called ahead to the central control that controls the elevator, and we tell them, hey, this inmate is going down to the second floor for a medical examination, or this inmate is going to the basement for court, or whatever the case may be. So when the, and they have a camera, obviously, looking inside the, the elevator. So when control looks in and they see us as a deputy, they're going to ask you, where are you going? What floor do you want to uh -huh. go to? Uh, I'm going to lunch, take me to the second floor. Uh, or I'm going up to the eighth floor for an interview or whatever the case may be. Well, on numerous occasions, I would get in, I would be at a retail store I'd get in the elevator and I'd just plop up against the back of the elevator. Oh, like they're gonna know. Like they're gonna, it's gonna take me wherever I wanna go. I'm just waiting for the person to ask me what floor I'm going to. And I sit there for 30 seconds before I realize. I gotta push a button. I gotta push a damn button. <laughs> it's not going there by itself. Yep. Oh. That happened. Do you ever take out your phone to check and see what time it is? And then you get distracted and totally forget you're looking for what time it is. I do that all the time. I do that with the remote on the television, too. I push the guide button, and then I go through the, the list, and finally I realize I was just checking to see what time it was. Uh, this one, boy, I have to admit, and I'm not sure if any of my friends watch this show, so if, it, if I've done this to you, I apologize. Claiming you have plans to get out of a social function, even though you totally don't. Yes, you, you know, know what? Me. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I have on occasion when I didn't want to do what they wanted to do, but I didn't want to hurt their feelings because I feel at some point they did something they didn't want to do with us. And so this would only be fair that we, you know, hey, suck it up and do something with them that we're not particularly fond yeah. of. And so I have. I've made shit up. That uh, One night, we went out on a double, not a double date, but we went out with another married couple. And they had... I have to tell you, I was very uncomfortable. I know you were. Uh, it wasn't you. <laughs> but it was someone you know. <laughs> and they wanted to go to that um, new restaurant that's uh, all fondue. Oh. Do you know that place? Uh, I Okay, you don't. I've never been there, no. All right. Well, first of all, I don't even meat. <laughs> when I go out to dinner, I want to eat some meat. That's why I'm going out for dinner. And yet, all they have is fondue stuff that you dip into chocolate or dip into this or the other thing. I didn't want to go, and I thought of a hundred ways I could try to get out of that and couldn't. Yeah. All right. Call me. Call me next time. I will. Yeah, because I, I can come up with something. Okay, so you're in the car, you're cruising along, Ronnie, and all of a sudden your favorite song comes on, and you just start rocking out. This is my jam. Uh, when the lights go down, and there's somebody looking at you. <laughs> yeah. Side eye, maybe even. <laughs> yeah. I was doing it the other day when I was actually singing, and somebody noticed that I was my mouth was moving, so I just... Started singing like, <laughs> like you're a ventriloquist. <laughs> I didn't want to give up singing, but I didn't want them to know I was singing or talking to myself for that matter. Okay, now this one, this is a this is a bit of a reach, but I've done it. I have too. Okay, rehearsing a conversation in your head that you'll probably never have. Yep. So let's say that you've you've cut yourself on your arm or your face. And you're thinking about, well, as soon as I get to work, somebody's going to ask me about it. And so I want to have a canned reply. Right. I want to, and, you know, I want something witty. And so I'm going to rehearse it a couple times before I go over it. Yeah. We, like when you break your leg. <laughs> right. I fell out of a rocking chair. Yeah. That's not going to work. Yeah. You had to be skiing the diamond, the black diamond run. I was trying to bust a Bronco. Yeah. There's yeah. a good one there. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. I fell off. I just I wasn't as talented as I thought. All right, next up on our list, 
Uh, getting flustered and saying the wrong thing when someone said, bless you, when you sneeze. <laughs> While most people would reply, thank you. Your confused brain somehow came up with you too. <laughs> or, you're welcome. Uh, so, this one, I don't go to grocery stores often. I go to Sam's Club and Costco. That's, that's the best of mine. Uh -huh. But... This is it's carefully inspecting an item at the grocery store because someone is standing in front of the one you actually want. Oh, yeah. You're so waiting for them. You're trying to get there. The Nestle's quick. But you think that if you give them the impression that you want to go there, that they're going to stand there longer. Right. So what do you do? Oh, this is exactly what I'm looking for right here. Tomato juice. Let me look at this. Oh, the ingredients, tomatoes. Wow. Who knew? I didn't think they had tomatoes in tomato juice. Right. And so, yeah, just to try to move that person along, because yeah, if, if you're anything like me, and I know I am. I know you are. I will stand there for a little longer than necessary just to inconvenience the person behind me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that, aren't That's you? That's just how I roll. You're vengeful. <laughs> Throwing change and receipts haphazard haphazardly into your wallet to avoid holding up the line. I do that too. I don't even want to be there in the first place. No. So I'm going to get out of there as quickly as I can. I tell you, I went to Walmart the other day. Nuh-uh. Yes! Huh. In fact, I had to go to two Walmarts uh, the battery in my car went dead. Oh, dang. We had 100 degree temperatures. It was it was bound to go. Oh, boy. And yep. so my daughter, I was going to go to the local automotive retail place, and my daughter says, no, you should go to Walmart. They're cheaper there. Well, I did, and they were. Yeah. However, they were out of stock. Aye. So not only did I have to go to one store, I had to drive another 10 miles to the, another Walmart to get the battery. God dang. I'm telling you, people in Walmart are just too much for me, so I want to get out of there as quickly as I possibly can. Yep. All right. This last one. I do this all the time. Uh-huh. All the time. It says giving your pet a pump-up talk. Oh, yeah, I do that. Okay. Well, I do it. I volunteer at a, at a shelter, an animal shelter. Right. And so when I see those dogs, I am, first of all, I'm, I'm a dog trainer at the animal shelter. And so I'm, I'm teaching dogs to do things that will help them get adopted. Right. And I'm also, I take a brush with me and I groom them and I get all the extra hair off and everything. But the one thing I tell them before I leave is, I won't see you next week because you are getting adopted. Don't worry about it. You're going home any day now. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And and so far, I mean, it's there's one dog down there. I don't know why nobody wants it. He's about eight years old, but he's a beautiful German Shepherd. Mm. I don't know why he's still, still there. Yesterday was empty the shelter day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that somebody came and picked that guy up. He was he was unbelievably handsome. He's so big, though. He weighs 114 pounds, German Shepherd, and he could probably stand to put on 5 or 10 pounds. He's not he's not fat. He's, he's a little on the thin side. So maybe too big for most people. Yeah. Maybe a little older than most people want. He's so chill. He's an amazing dog. His name is Boris. If you want to go check out the uh, Front Street Animal Shelter, amazing dog. Very, very chill. All right. Well, we'll wrap up with that one right there. These are things that you do in life. <laughs> You're secretly guilty, and you come up with other reasons for it. I hope you've seen some of these that you've done, too. If you have, and we haven't mentioned them, please Feel free to put them in the comments below. Yeah. We really do enjoy your comments. In fact, we do our very best to get back to each and every one of you who does leave a comment. Yep. Uh, if you made it this far in the program, we'd encourage you to please subscribe to our channel. It's important to us. We're on a quest to make it to 1,000, and we're in the 600 range right now, so we could really use your subscription, and it would be appreciated. Yep. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. And we will see you on the very next Men Are So Smart. <laughs>